for a great looking board and batten job with ASIC sheets, you can install exterior trim first with sheets installed after, or you can install the sheets first with four quarter trim installed on top of the sheets, which is what this video illustrates. Either way, begin with a solid and flat surface. ASIC requires a minimum thickness of a half inch plywood or 7 16 inch OSB. Prior to installing sheets, install house wrap, window tape, and horizontal flashings over window and door openings and all other areas as defined in the building code. ASIC sheets with Paint Pro technology are available in lengths of 8 feet, 10 feet, and 12 feet. Sheets should always be installed vertically and should not bridge floors. So choose a length that will allow you to break sheets at the subfloor. Leave a sixteenth of an inch gap between sheets when you install them. Fasten a half inch from the edges every eight inches with a minimum of one and a half inch by .092 hot dip galvanized ring shank siding nails. Allow a quarter of an inch gap above the windows. This gap should not be caught. It's an exit point for any water that might leak in. Leave an eighth inch gap in the sides and bottom of the window. This gap should be caulked against water leaks. The second row of sheets sits atop the first row with appropriately sized Z flashing and a quarter inch gap that should not be caulked. Another way to detail the transition between rows is with the band board installed along the top of the first row. Again, use the appropriate size Z flashing. Install the corner boards the skirt board and the window trim. After installation of the trims, add a small bead of caulk above any horizontal trims that are overlaid on top of the sheets, such as the window head trim and skirt board. Now you can begin installing the battens over each seam. Fasten every 12 inches with a minimum 2 inch by .092 hot dip galvanized ring shank siding nail or 2 inch ASIC Cortex screws. For high wind areas, refer to the design and wind load tables for proper fastening. Fill in battens between the seams for proper fastening, spaced no more than 16 inches apart. Move up to the next course and install trim and battens as below. For gable ends, install sheets about an eighth of an inch short of the soffit to allow movement and install rake trim to cover the gap. Battens follow as below and you're done. If you choose to skip the band board, extend the corners and battens to the top of the underlying sheets and make sure to use the appropriate flashing. You can paint ASIC sheets in many colors. If the color you want has an LRV under 55, you'll need a solar reflective coating or a vinyl safe paint formula. With or without a band board, ASIC's board and batten siding looks great and lasts a lifetime. Prior to installation, refer to the ASIC installation guidelines and code compliance reports.